Boom shakalaka, Bitcoin has an 86% chance of having a new all-time high before the halving. Two reasons why it's going to be more explosive than anyone expects. Stay tuned. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video will be a lot of very interesting charts for Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, including why a new all-time high is likely to happen before the halving and why it's likely to blow everyone's mind. Before we get into it, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Come join us on Twitter at the Crypto Love. Push that like button. Today, fear and greed, 68, one below my favorite number, same as we were yesterday. The overall market sideways from yesterday, Bitcoin at 33.23, Ethereum at 20.96, BNB at 3.33, XRP 51 cents, Cardano 45 cents, Dogecoin 9 cents, Polygon dollar 16, and Solana 24.23. And if you want to know the top coins today based on artificial intelligence, they would be Anchor Network, Ren, Volt Inu, Iotex, and TruFi. And you too, sir or madame, can use AI just like ChatGPT, but specifically for crypto to help pick out the best coins. There is a free trial down to Tokenmetrics in the description. Now, Bitcoin today sitting just above $30,000. I got to say, if we can sit right here, the next line of resistance is pretty much $38,000. So that's a big leap for Bitcoin. But I got to tell you, pessimists still abound, especially when you're looking at the world as a whole. Because right now, since 1979, this signal has accurately predicted a rise in unemployment and a fall in the stock market. History suggests worse times ahead. If we take a look at treasuries, when we see these, this signaled the tech bust, signaled the financial crisis, signaled COVID-19, and it is the lowest it's ever been right now. Yikes! Could it be worse? Possibly. But Bitcoin has formed a bottom historically in line with every other bottom that Bitcoin has ever formed between the realized price and the coin value days destroyed price from the bottom right there and has actually bounced back above. If we take a look, not only is Bitcoin breaking out from previous resistance, but also Ethereum signaling all coins pre breaking out from previous resistance. If you take a look historically, last time this happened, this was right preceding a massive bull run. We are just getting started. Right now, though, there is an indicator that flashed back in November that probably not a lot of people are paying attention to. But this indicator, when it flashed, historically, Bitcoin has had a new all-time high within 6 to 12 months. That would be within a month to about, I don't know, another 6, 7 months from now. This signal is the Chinese 10-year Whenever it crosses over its moving average, the three week 20 MA, Bitcoin has gone on a massive run. Nine months here, six months here, five months here, 12 months here, 11 months here. Well, somewhere between five and 12 months. We could be seeing this as early as next month or as late as November. But both of those dates are before the halving, which is roughly a year away. This goes counter to what everyone previously thinks where Bitcoin is the fair value right, right now, roughly $40,000 by the halving and has a parabolic rally afterwards, this would be new all-time high before the halving would take everyone by surprise, could potentially happen. Right now, Bitcoin has never made a new low after the monthly RSI down here has crossed the 50, never made a new all-time low in those times. Or when the monthly MACD crossed over, as we saw right here, here, and here. Bull market is here, unlikely to go down at this point. And you never want to underestimate a buy signal in the super trend. If we take a look at the super trend right here, in five out of six cases throughout the history of Bitcoin, we've always seen extreme price rises in the price of Bitcoin after one of these buy signals. The only time it did not happen was right back here in 2020, late 2021. So that being said, it could send Bitcoin price much, much higher. And one more signal that take a look at the size of these blue candles, massive candles for Bitcoin. When the green lines on the three week GMMA cross over the red lines, they're starting to touch right now. When they cross over historically, this was 4,000% gains. This was 
1,300% gains. Those are massive explosive gains, and we have the same exact thing happening right now. How could all this be happening for Bitcoin when everything else is falling apart? Well, Bitcoin was kind of made for these situations. This is why it was invented back in 2008. So that being said, right now, Bitcoin's RSI is above 70. You can see it's breaking out of this purple area right here. All the years below, before, this is parabolic rally territory. As you can see, this is when Bitcoin really starts to take off, suggesting we are really about to start taking off for Bitcoin. How high? Well, how about this? If Bitcoin were to follow previous cycles from the halfings, we have the price of the halving. Bitcoin tends to reach 730% above the POC volume profile within the halving cycle. If Bitcoin chooses to do the same thing, we could have, I'll save that until I show you what this exactly is. So this POC, this red line here, by the halving, 730% above. Again, POC, the red line here, 730% above by the halving. Well, if we have the same thing, this POC right down here, could we go 730% above? That would be a $200,000 Bitcoin by April, much higher than anyone expects. And here's the great news that Bitcoin is on track to spend the longest amount of time ever under the two-year MA. Hopefully, you've already bought your Bitcoin because once it breaks above this, likely won't be coming back down for a long time. But buying Bitcoin anytime under the two-year MA is incredible. And right now, it is still under the two-year MA. If you bought now, I know you didn't buy the absolute bottom at fifteen or $16,000, but $30,000 is still incredible by territory for Bitcoin because the one factor that no one is considering is right now a liquid supply is at an eight year high. That means there's no Bitcoin to be found anywhere. Michael Saylor has bought it all. I've bought it all and everyone else buying spot has bought it all and there's no more left on exchanges. So as soon as there is a feeding frenzy, guess what? The price is going to jack up incredibly for Bitcoin for all coins and cryptocurrencies and probably for NFTs too. So that's all for today's episode. If you did enjoy it, push that like button. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one. Love you. Peace. If you don't think Bitcoin's going to a million dollars a coin and then $10 million a coin, you're already a loser. From now on, if you don't own Bitcoin, you're a moron.